What's up, you two bears? Merry Christmas in advance. <laughs> hey, now's the time to start thinking about, you know, shopping for your favorite knife, either for yourself or for your loved one. And we all know 2020 was just pretty much a terrible year, all right? And the highlight of my 2020 for knife collecting are basically these top 10 right here, all right? And I will not steer you wrong. When I tell you these are great knives, take my word for it. All right, there might be some disputes out there. And uh, if there is, let me know why you think this isn't in the top 10. Remember, these are, these are mine, you know? These are my choices. So, um, hey, I'm just trying to help you guys out, okay? Now, I did receive, you know, a beautiful custom knife from Jed Hornbeek which is like my absolute, you know, favorite. He did the, uh, his own version of the Rambo movie knife. That knife is just unbeatable. You know, it's just so gorgeous. He used the, like the greatest materials. You know, it can't be beat. So it's not on this list. That's only because it's basically, uh, you know, I guess you need to talk to him, you know, to see if he would make you one. And um, speaking of customs, I'm in the process right now of having one made. And um, oh my God, if everything turns out the way I think it is, it's going to be quite amazing. And it's from the USA. And uh, I can't wait to see this, you know, maybe that'll kick off my 2021 so anyway let's get started with my top 10 picks and recommendations you know for you guys you know for Christmas 2020 let's start out with this little pocket knife here this was a real thrill for only 25 bucks I can't believe this was only 25 bucks the Ganzo Firebird model number FH21 D2 steel I've been using this every day you got those beautiful G10 scales I highly recommend this I don't know why it's only 25 bucks on Amazon <laughs> and I can't stress this one enough you know buy four of them you know give them to your best friends the Ganzo FH-21 Firebird. All right. Let's do a little reading here. The Rockwell hardness is uh, 60. Uh, seven and three quarter inch overall. A 4.35 inch handle. 3.4 inch blade. I think this is the best deal you're going to find. All right. And uh, I chose this color. There's so many to choose from. This was just my personal favorite. All right. The Ganzo. All right. That's a number one. Number two. Now, most of these I've done reviews on, except this one. The Kudeman model, uh, model MT Phi U. This has been receiving some amazing reviews. I have a couple of Kudman knives in there. They're more, you know, bigger, you know, buoy knives. This is something different. I think this is um, Spain's answer to ASA and Ontario. This thing is wicked, and I'm going to have a full review coming soon. I never heard of this. N695 Bowler Steel. It's a drop point. Eight and th eight and seven eighths overall. I think it's eight. Yeah, eight and seven eighths with a four and a quarter inch blade. Blade. 
This cost about a hundred bucks and it comes with this vertical slash horizontal leather sheath. That's, um, you know, as I said, horizontal or vertical, depending on how you want to wear it. You got your elephant logo printed on there. I've used it just for little things. I didn't really get into it, but this thing is, is amazing, right? This is a high quality, look at those, you know, those liners. What do we got here? Yeah, made in Spain, drop point. Got the Micarta scales. This is a nice, nice knife to have on your side. All right. Um, a sharp, uh, let me see it. Let's see how sharp it is out of the box. I even like those, uh, those little uh, jimping right there. The Kudman or Kudaman MT-5U. Get this at a uh, Knife Works, but for some reason they have model number MT-5. I think the U, which is this one, there's a difference between this one and the MT-5. The MT-5 has a little hole right there, I guess to, um, you know, tie it onto a, if you want to make a spear or something. Uh, other than that, I really can't find any differences. Um, 90, sharp 90 degree, you know, spine. So, hey, I'm guessing we can uh, throw some flames off of this thing. So there's the Kudaman MT-5U. Runs you about a hundred bucks, possibly more. All right. I'd say go to Knifeworks, but as I said, I think all they got is the MT5. But the MT5U is available on Amazon. All right. I think it's like 120 bucks, something like that. Can't go wrong. Wouldn't steer you wrong. Next, one of my personal favorites again is. The Ontario made in the USA Blackbird SK5. Not the prettiest knife on the planet. But as I said, you can see why I think the Kudaman is similar to that. And I'm liking this, uh, you know, the 5 inch blade, 10 inch overall. The steel on this is 154 cm steel. It's about 120, 125 bucks at Knifeworks, Louisiana, made in the USA. Some call it the Hedgehog. All right. Awesome knife. I have this um, Molly compatible sheet that I have on my Coyote Brown, you know, backpack. I think I showed you guys that before. All right. Another knife that I highly recommend. I should just stop saying that because I highly recommend all of these. Okay. The fourth is a little bit bigger. Let's go up a little bit. Is the ASA 6. I went with the Dark Earth. $107 at Knifeworks, Louisiana. 11 and 3 quarter inch overall with a 6 and a half inch blade. Again, made in the USA. Um, this has got that dark art earth coating on it and uh, the, the, the finger jimping right here. I guess you can replace the scales. And I do know that there's a, another Molly compatible sheath that you can, you know, mount this onto. I do plan on getting that in the future. All right. When I do, you'll be the first to know. Out of the box sharpness. It's so hard for me to, you know, what knife am I going to use today? <laughs> uh, and this is just the highlight of my 2020. The ASA 6, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome. And next, kind of similar, but a bigger blade, is the Ontario Rat 7. Model number 8692. Again, I got that coating on there, the OD green coating. This I have used, I put through the ringer, made in the USA, seven inch blade, at Knifeworks, $73. 
<laughs> you can't beat that with a stick. This might be the second best deal you'll find in this video, all right? And my girls at Knifeworks are awesome, all right? Tell them Cowboy Seabop sent you. 70, 73 bucks, come on. Who wouldn't want this as a gift? And uh, yeah, that comes with a uh, Molly compatible sheath, as you see here. All right, now let's get into the bigger fellas. I just did a full review on this. Made in the USA, the K-Bar 1292 D2 Steel, all right? Made in the USA. Nightworks has it for 130 bucks. K bar 1292. This is the straight edge, ladies and gentlemen. This is why I bought it. I did a pretty solid review on this. Highly recommend you guys go check it out if you haven't already. Remember, this knife came with the uh, the Kydex type sheath, but I will end up spending another 30 or so for the Mal compatible sheath. I can't stress this knife enough. K bar is legendary. And, uh, I mean, come on. They, they, it, they took it upon themselves to do the upgrade, and they did a phenomenal job. Highly recommend. Next on the list. We got a couple more to go. Did a full review on this. Now, this is uh, two knives. I don't really have them set up together like that, but do you guys remember the Condor Plan A? First of all, it comes with these awesome, and the Ripper. The Ripper, which is great for drilling holes. This is that 1095 steel. The Condor Plan A. Look at this beauty. Look at it. A little dirty. A little dirty. This is seeing some activity. Look at this beautiful blade. The Condor Plan A. I did a nice full review on this. This was one of those knives I could have been out in the woods all day, just chopping away, chopping away. The Plan A runs you about 130 bucks. This is a 14 and a half inch overall with a nine inch blade. The Ripper is 1095 steel. This is 1075. And uh, as I said, that was that, this was awesome for just like, you know, drilling holes or whatever to have a little sidekick if you're going to be you know carrying this you want something a little smaller to get into those finer tasks there you go you can't go wrong made in el salvador again awesome kydex with leather uh loops for the sheaths the plan a cost about where did it go oh 130 bucks the ripper between 90 and 100. All right? Won't steer you wrong. Now for one of my all-time favorite knives, made in the USA, with this amazing Kydex sheath. I put some additional things on there. This is like a little, like, you know, kit, you know, for little odds and ends there. Uh, if I'm out, you know, for a long hike, you know, whatever. I, I just put... Just random little things in there, like a couple band-aids, maybe a couple fish hooks. There's my uh, my blanket to keep me warm if I'm ever stranded out in the wilderness. Um, let's see. Awesome sheath. Can't go wrong with this. All right. The knife itself has seen some activity. The SA Umbla 2. 14 and a half inch overall with the eight inch, maybe a little bit more blade. Made in the USA, at Knifeworks, it runs about $160. Awesome knife. My go-to. And uh, did do a full review on that. Going by real quick, going, doing the best I can. Now for this guy here, I usually don't use any of my Gil Hibben knives, but this one has seen some use. I had put it through the torture test. The Gil Hibben Extreme Survivor. GH5028. It's got that 7CR17 
steel, 10 inch blade, 15 inches overall, $85 with this awesome leather sheath at knife at knife works 85 bucks all right this thing feels great i mean you know it's a it's a hefty meaty blade and you can tell although they don't call it a rambo tribute i can definitely see a lot of the uh, rambo knives in this knife so hey gil if that wasn't your intention you know you see the one and two in there you got the rambo three handle And I can't think right now off the top of my head. But um, anyway, if you're going to buy a Hibben, go for the Hibben Extreme Survival. Did a full video on this. Check it out. 85 bucks at Knifeworks. Who wouldn't want that for Christmas morning? All right? <laughs> oh, yeah. And finally, probably one of my biggest highlights in 2020 was the cowboy Seabop chop. Now I got I had this made at the Kukri house. You got that you got the Kukri Nepal Macarta handle. Pinned on 15 inches overall, 10 inch blade, 5 inch handle. And uh I don't know what I do with my lanyard. I did have a you know lanyard there. This meets the specifications for blade sports competition. Did a full video on this. I always said, why well, spend, you know, between five, six, seven hundred, sometimes two thousand on a competition knife that you don't even know if you're any good at. This will run you about 120 bucks, possibly 150, depending on what kind of sheath you want. You tell the cookery house Cowboy C Bob sent you, and you want a Cowboy C Bob chop. If you want the Kydex sheath, I have this thing hooked up as my shoulder harness carry. I had the uh, the Kydex sheath with the uh, the leather loops right here, and um, this thing is just total total badass. You know, will not steer you wrong. You know, and uh, that's about it, guys. Let me show you a nice little once over once again here. Let's go. All right. I thought this was just going to be like a half hour video going through it real quick. If you guys didn't see a review, like say, for example, this Kudaman, I got one coming soon. All right. We'll put it through the torture test. <laughs> it's solid. It's heavy duty. And it's already received a ton, a ton, a lot of great compliments. Yeah. Look at these choices. Look at these choices. Any questions, let me know. I'll do my best to answer. You know, as I said, that one, this one here is probably the best deal you'll find. This I can't recommend enough. And, uh, you know, that Ontario Rat 7... 70 bucks come on at knife works can't go wrong the cowboy sea bop chop let's end uh this with a splash i haven't done this in a while and um hey they're just you know 10 knives think about it as I said, you want to get something for your loved one, for yourself, whatever, check them out. Any questions, let me know. And uh, are we in focus here? Right. I usually put my lanyard on, but hey, what are you going to do? <sighs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> you know, in advance. So I uh, got a little cleaning up to do. Got to put these away. And um, remember, as always, stay well, stay safe, and stay free. All right? Bring on 2021. I can't 
wait. Let's get there. Oh, get your order in now for this, and then you will have it for Christmas. You know, I guarantee it. This is a fun knife to have around the home, in the jungle, wherever. Chop, 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 chop. That's all you'll be doing. So, uh, <laughs> all right. Take care, everybody. See you soon.